I don't think I've ever told you guys about my ex-boyfriend's crazy stalker obsessive ex-girlfriend But it makes me so happy that my boyfriend now does not have an ex-girlfriend I was dating this guy for a full season and I never understood the obsession she had It's giving first love definitely a first love So I dated this guy to try to get over my one ex if you know, you know, it definitely worked I mean, I was really distracted so I definitely stopped thinking about him. Anyway, me and this guy, let's call him John. We were talking for a few months and then we finally started dating. I'm not even kidding. Two days into our relationship, I get a long hefty text message and it's from his ex. Let's call her Ashley. Ashley sends me a long hefty freaking message basically saying like, hi, so I know you're John's, did we call him John or Sean? John. I'm hi, I know you're John's new girlfriend. Just to let you know that like I'm his ex-girlfriend and like this girl sent me, I'm not even kidding, like an essay. You know those messages where you have to like click on it and it takes you to like the full page that's literally what it was and she was like i just want to let you know that like i broke his heart i hope you don't do the same you seem like such a nice girl i didn't even know her she was like you seem like such a nice girl he was my moon he was my stars like she was honestly so corny but she was like he was my everything and i just want to make sure you don't break his heart if you want any like tips i'm here all this weird stuff and that's not even where that's not even the weirdest part in the message she like says some really weird stuff she tells me what his favorite foods are like his favorite activities hobbies as if i don't know that like what do you think a talking stage is for and just like a bunch of other crazy stuff i tell him this and he's like oh like you know like that's just my ex just ignore it she does that okay the fact that he said that i was like okay you're not hubby material Ew. so i ignore her messages i don't answer and i also don't block her i know what you guys are thinking maggie why would you not block her well i wanted to see if she would reach out again and like what she would say flash forward she texts me again and she was like hey if he ever discusses like wedding rings with you i always told him how much i want like a princess cut i'm just wondering is that what you would want in a ring at this point i'm like girl i did not answer your book that you sent me what makes you think i want to discuss engagement rings with you so they made it like so much weirder i did not have a car all throughout high school it sucked so bad so i had to take the bus i was probably waiting at my bus stop for like five minutes and i'm not even kidding as soon as i get on the bus i get a message <laughs> i'm not even surprised at this point point. and she tells me hey i just wanted to let you know like you look so cute today what <laughs> here's me in the bus i'm like where is this chick this girl did not go to my school it wasn't even from my area like she didn't even go to my high school so like at this point i was so freaked out that's when i block her i was so freaked out i obviously told sean or john whatever the frick we called him i i told john i'm blocking this bitch and he was like yeah like go ahead obviously he was gonna say that like what the hell else was he gonna say i blocked her and then i'm not even kidding like a week ish later i get a dm from her she told me she saw me and my bestie at the mall and she was wondering if like i wanted to hang out with her no girl i don't my thing is i don't care if you guys think like i was being rude i clearly didn't entertain it like i didn't want to be friends and that's very normal to not want to be friends with your ex-boyfriend's ex-girlfriend especially if she's that crazy anyway so i'm just like in the mall and then i was like wait a minute how do you know that's my best friend that could have been just a friend or like a family member or something how do you know that was my best friend at this point i was like oh girl i'm about to pull a uno reverse on you i'm about to start stalking you she had been following me for i don't even know how long and she liked some of my posts from years ago again i don't even know when she did that i broke up with my ex at this point like dude i don't even like you enough to deal with this go get your twin flame back and go give her her princess cut diamond i feel so bad but he was so not worth it <laughs> so yeah i don't know where sean and freaking ashley are now in life but i really hope they're married or john however but yeah let me know what you guys think about this whole situation see you next time bye i honestly never thought i was like, gonna get myself to talk about the worst date i've been on but let's get into it i met this guy on instagram and i'm very picky when it comes to meeting guys in general but i'm extremely picky when it comes to actually linking up with the guys i meet from instagram or just any social media platform we're gonna call this guy edwin edwin and i actually had prior conversations before him and i hung out honestly he was pretty chill and he never gave me those awkward or weird vibes one day he was like oh let's go out and i would literally ignore this guy when i say ignore i'm not saying i would ignore our messages i would mainly ignore the times he would ask me out on a date because it wasn't more than once or more than twice this guy had asked me maybe about five or six times and i literally deny all of the invites and then one day finally i just gave in so the day of the date arrived and he was like hey i'm gonna be staying a little bit longer at work 
do you mind if we push back the time? And I was like, oh, it's not a problem. So instead of us going out to dinner around 7 p.m., we ended up going out around 9 p.m. Around 8.30, I get a text from Edwin, and Edwin goes, hey, I just got off of work, I'm about to get home, and then I'm going to shower really quickly, and then we can, you know, go on our date. And I was like, okay, that's fine. He then proceeds to ask me, hey, Ash, would you be okay to drive? Would I consider that a red flag, or should I just say yes? I ended up saying yes, it was okay because he ended up telling me how exhausted he is from work, but he doesn't want to cancel on me, which is why he asked me. This man is tired and he's asking me to drive. I would much rather feel safer me driving than being in the passenger seat with someone who is driving me around and is falling asleep on the road. You know me personally, you know that I love to drive, so I did it my day. Edwin lived 35 minutes away from me, but going the opposite of where the restaurants are. So I ended up picking him up. We said hi to each other. And then after that, I'm literally driving off and he goes, oh, you wouldn't mind if I fell asleep for a little bit. And I was like, no, I wouldn't mind at all. What am I going to tell this guy? Oh, yes, I would mind on our way to the restaurant this man is sleeping i understand you're tired from work and i respect the fact that you still came out to go on a date i would have much rather you canceled instead of you sleeping in the damn car while we are on the way to go eat it was a very awkward and i just decided to turn the volume to the radio full blast at that point i just felt like i was an uber driver i didn't feel like i was on a date the most i know about this man is what he does for work and how many siblings he has but besides that i know nothing of him and how am i gonna get to know somebody if you are literally sleeping <laughs> so i want to say at this point 40 minutes passed and we finally arrived to the restaurant we arrived to the restaurant thankfully we did not have to wait to get seated oh you think it couldn't get any more worse we get seated and at this restaurant they are playing loud music you legit have to scream at the person in order to be able to hear them and to top it off we were literally in front of the dj so i was like okay this is this is how this is gonna go huh <laughs> when i tell you the moment we got our drinks we did not talk the rest of the date it was so awkward i would literally sit my drink look at him and just kind of like give an awkward smile at this point i did not want to be there but i just didn't have the boss to get up and leave. i don't think you guys understand how badly this date was we did not have one conversation when i tell you guys i did not learn one new thing from this man obviously earlier in the video i told you guys that i knew how many siblings he had and things like that and also what he did for work but besides that that's literally all i knew i I could not get to know him i could not ask questions because of how loud the music was and it was just awkward overall like i don't know this date was so horrible edwin and i finished our food we end up leaving he ends up paying and at this point i was like i'm gonna just let this man pay because i offered to put my card down and he didn't let me and i was like all right i'm not even about to argue because if him and i keep arguing about the damn bill and who's gonna pay then we're gonna stay here longer and i just don't want to be here anymore so we get out of the restaurant and i remember he was like are you okay to drive and i was like i literally didn't drink i'm okay to drive no my eye teared up trying to put my lashes on this is how i felt on that date <laughs> when i tell you guys we weren't even two minutes into the car ride when i look right to the passenger side and this man is sleeping again and i was like dude him and i didn't have a conversation on our way to the restaurant we didn't have a conversation inside the restaurant because the music was way too loud and we're definitely not gonna have a conversation on our way back home at this point i, I don't i didn't even care anymore i just put my music on full blast i drove home dropped this man off and i went home and the crazy part was he literally wanted us to talk when i dropped him off home at the block of his house and i was like oh absolutely not like i don't even want to be here anymore and i was like no i just really have to go and ever since then i never went out with this guy this guy has been trying to talk to me but honestly ignore him and yeah that was the end of my horrible date <laughs>